Hello Nigerians, um, this is Natasha, the senatorial candidate uh, from Kogi Central on the platform of PDP. I'm right here in my hometown. Uh, we woke up this morning to the news that Yahaya Bello has instructed the excavation of all access roads leading to my hometown. Um, the, my hometown is cut off from a Bangede community. It's also cut off from Eka. And then right now, I'm in front of another road which was just excavated, thereby cutting me out of traveling out of my hometown. I'm going to show you. How do I turn this around? Okay. How do I turn the screen around? Okay, here. Look at it. I need to step out so I can show you all well. This is it. This is the highway. So what we've done is you can see how it was all excavated. I need to climb so they will see. Just wait. Excuse. Yahaya Bello has he has obstructed. This is it. You guys should stop, 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 stop. stop. Just go, let them see. As you can see, there's a big gully that has been dug using excavators, thereby cutting movement through. And this is just one of the three roads. Hold on, let me come down. No, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's, okay. it's all right. Thank you. I know, we are going to get an excavator to cover them up. We are coming back. Close the door, let me continue. So what this means is INEC will not be able to get materials to certain communities, especially my hometown. What this also means is if Yahaya Bello and his APC goons decide to attack me and the good people of Kogi Central in the Hima community or Adave Bar just up the road, it will be impossible for the DPOs to gain access here. So that means I, Natasha, Akwoti Uduaha, and my fellow candidates and my fellow supporters are trapped. We have no way out because Yahaya Bello has dug gullies. This is the Ihima Ege Road. No, this was just dug 10 minutes before I got here. As a matter of fact, I met the Adavi local government chairman running away the moment we came in here. And this has happened on all other roads. So that means I am trapped in here. And if we do not cover these roads, if we don't cover these roads by tomorrow, it will be impossible for INEC to get their materials down. It will be impossible. So I'm calling up the president. I'm calling on all the service chiefs to call Yahaya Bello to order. If he's going to lose, and I know he's going to lose, he should lose honorably. As a matter of fact, Yaya Bello, you're not on the ballot. So what the, what the hell is your problem? Why are you fighting so hard? You have done, you, you have served, you are, you are completing your eighth year. That is the second term. What exactly are you looking for? Why are you fighting the people? Why are you deploying guns? Yaya Bello, why are you... Why have you sewn many fake uniforms and equipped your thugs with machine guns? Why do you want to kill your people? Yahaya Bello, what use is trapping all of us in here? Look at this. What use is it? Look at their shooting right now. I want everyone to move, please. You can see, this is it. The roads are blocked. The roads are blocked to the commissioner of police and to the IG of police to the DSS boss 
to the chief of defense staff everybody should know that this is what Yahya Bello is doing he has gotten um, the CCECC um, trucks that's what we saw we saw the CCECC the Chinese company's uh, excavator was used and there were over 50 naval officers that guided this act over 50 naval officers i don't understand why the navy is in okene and okay local governments we have no water the navy should be in lokoja but no the naval officers in kogi state have so been corrupted that they have become yahaya bello's puppets i tell you if i had gotten here 30 minutes earlier you would have seen over 50 naval officers supervising this excavation and believe me, they started excavating several holes around, along the roads across my hometown. So the good people of Nigeria, please share this video. Please share it wide and far. And let those in authority call Yahya Bello to order and curb his, curb his extrajudicial actions. This is democracy. Everyone has a right to vote who they want to vote. And Yahya Bello, you are so going to lose because the people are tired of these evil antics of yours. Thank you so much.